ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ थ्री ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन वाई लिविंग एट होम विद योर फैमिलीज फुलफिल योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज टू एवरी वन यू शुड नॉट डिसक एनी वन बट यू डेफिनेटली डू हैव टू बिकम एज प्योर एज अ लोटस फ्लावर question when will the bells of victory chime when will you be praised answer at the end when the bad omens of maya stop influencing you when your line is constantly clear the bells of victory will then chime and you children will be praised as yet you children are still experiencing the bad omens of maya and obstacles continue to come you find it difficult to find even 3 feet of land to do service however the time will come when you children will be the masters of the whole world song be patience o oh mind your days of happiness are about to come om shanti you children understand number wise according to the efforts you make that this old play is now ending just a few moments of sorrow is still remain and there will then be happiness and only happiness when you know about happiness you can understand that this is a land of sorrow there is a vast difference you are now making effort for happiness you understand that this old play of sorrow is ending you now follow bab dada sri math to attain happiness it is very easy to explain to anyone you now have to return home with baba baba has come to take you back with him remain as pure as a lotus flower while living at home with your families you definitely do have to fulfill your household responsibilities if you do not fulfill your responsibilities you would be like the sanyasis because they do not fulfill their household responsibilities they are called those who belong to the path of isolation those who practice hatha yoga whatever is taught by sanyasis it is called hatha yoga where is you are studying raj yoga which is taught by god the religious scripture of bharat is the gita you are not concerned with the religious scriptures of others you live at home with your families and renounce everything for just one birth and you receive the reward of that for 21 births their renunciation is limited and they practice hatha yoga your renunciation is unlimited and you practice raj yoga they renounce their households and businesses raj yoga is praised a great deal god taught raj yoga and so he must surely be called the highest on high shri krishna cannot be god the unlimited father is the incorporeal one only he can give you an unlimited kingdom here you don't have dislike for family life the father says in this last birth remain pure while living at home with your families no sanyasi can be called the purifier sanyasis themselves call out o purifier they remember that one they also want a pure world but they don't know that that world is completely different since they don't live in households they don't believe in the deities they cannot teach raj yoga neither does the father teach hatha yoga nor do they sanyasi teach raj yoga this matter has to be understood a world conference is going to be held in delhi explain to them and give it to all of them in writing there there are many conflicting ideas 
when you put it in writing everyone will understand what your aim is you understand that we are now part of the elevated brahmin clan how could we become the members of the sudra clan or how could we register ourselves in a vaisas clan this is why we refuse to register we are theist and they are atheist they are those who don't believe in god whereas we are those who have yoga with god therefore there is a conflict of ideas it has been explained that those who do not know the father are atheist therefore only the father can come and make them into theist by belonging to the father you receive the inheritance from him this is a very deep matter first of all you have to instill in their intellects that the supreme father the supreme soul is the god of the gita he is the one who established the original eternal deity religion the deity religion is the main religion of bharat the land of bharat has to have a religion they have forgotten their religion you also understand that according to the drama the people of bharat had to forget their religion so that the father could then come and establish it again otherwise how could the father come he says i come when the deity religion has disappeared it definitely has to disappear it is said that one leg of the bull that supports the world is broken and that it is standing on three legs so there are four main religions the leg of the deity religion is now broken that is that religion has disappeared this is why the example of the banyan tree is given although its foundation has rotted away its many branches and twigs still remain so here too the foundation of the deity religion no longer exists but there are many sects and cults all over the world there is now total enlightenment in your intellects the father says you children have now come to know this drama this whole tree has now become old the golden age will definitely come after the iron age the cycle definitely has to turn you have to keep it in your intellects that the play is now over and that we are to return home as you walk as you move around remember we now have to return home this is the real meaning of man mana bhav and madhyaji bhav if you have to give a lecture to a large audience explain that the supreme father the supreme soul is once again saying o oh children renounce the consciousness of your bodies and all bodily religions and consider yourselves to be souls remember the father and all your sins will finish i am teaching you raj yoga while living in your home with your families remain like a lotus flower and remember me remain pure and imbibe this knowledge everyone is now degraded in the golden age the deities were in salvation the father comes again and grant salvation the qualities of salvation are 16 celestial degrees completely pure and full of divine virtues who gives you these qualities the father what then are his qualities he is the ocean of knowledge the ocean of bliss his praise is completely separate not everyone is the same all souls are the children of the one father there are also the children of prajapita brahma the new creation is now being created all are the children of the father of humanity however those people don't understand these things the brahmin caste is the highest of all the caste of bharat have been remembered while taking 84 births you have to pass through these clans the brahmin clan exists at the confluence age you children now remain in sweet silence 
दिस साइलेंस इज़ दी बेस्ट ऑफ ऑल इन फैक्ट दी नेकलेस ऑफ पीस इज अराउंड योर नेक्स एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स टू गो टू दी होम ऑफ पीस बट हु कैन सो दैम द वे नो वन एक्सेप्ट दी ओसियन ऑफ पीस कैन सो यू द वे ही हैज़ बीन गिविंग गुड टाइटल्स the ocean of peace the ocean of knowledge shri krishna is the prince of heaven baba is the seed of the human world tree there is the difference of day and night krishna cannot be called the seed of the human world tree this proves that the knowledge of omnipresence is not valid the father has his own praise he is eternally worthy of worship He never becomes a worshipper. Those who come from up above first are the ones who become worshippers from being worthy of worship. Many points are explained to you. So many come to the exhibitions, but only a handful out of multi millions emerge because the destination is very high. Countless subjects will continue to be created. Out of multi millions, only a handful emerge who become the beads of the rosary. There is the example of Narad. He was told to look at his face to see if he was worthy of claiming Lakshmi as his bride. Many subjects will be created, but a king is still a king. One king has hundreds of thousands of subjects. You have to make elevated effort. among the kings as well some are great kings and some are not as great there were so many kings in bharat even in the golden age there are many maharajas maharajas this has continued since the beginning of the golden age the maharajas have many properties and the kings have fewer this knowledge is for becoming sri lakshmi and narayan it is for this that you continue to make effort when you are asked will you claim the status of lakshmi and narayan or the status of rama and sita you reply we will only claim the status of lakshmi and narayan we will claim our full inheritance from the mother and father these are such wonderful matters such matters do not arise anywhere else nor are they written in the scriptures the locks on your intellects have now opened the father explains as you walk and move around maintain the consciousness of being actors and that you have to return home to remember this is called being man mana bhav and madhyaji bhav the father reminds you again and again I have come to take you back home. This is your spiritual pilgrimage. No one except the father can take you on this pilgrimage. You have to praise Bharat a great deal. This Bharat is the holiest land. Only the one father is the remover of sorrow, the bestower of happiness, and the bestower of salvation for all. Bharat is his birthplace. That father is the liberator of all. This is his most elevated pilgrimage place. Although people of Bharat go to a Shiva temple, they do not know him. They know Gandhi and believe that he was very good. This is why they go and offer flowers etc to him. They spend hundreds of thousands of rupees on that. It is now their government and so they can do whatever they want. The father sits here and establishes this religion. in an incognito way this kingdom is now completely separate in bharat in the beginning it was the kingdom of deities they show a battle taking place between the deities and the devils but nothing like that happened it is here on the battlefield that you conquer maya surely only the almighty authority can enable you to conquer maya Only Baba can liberate you from the kingdom of Ravan and establish the kingdom of Rama. However, there is no question of a battle, etc. There, if you look around in the world, it is the Krishnian who are now Almighty Authority. 
if they wanted to they could conquer everyone however it is not the law for them to become the masters of the world only you understand this secret at this time the kingdom of christians is the most powerful authority in fact their population should be the least because they came last however out of the three religions theirs is the strongest of all and they have everyone under their control this too is fixed in the drama it is through them that we will receive our kingdom again there is a story of how two cats were fighting each other and the third one took the butter while they wage war among themselves the people of bharat will take the butter from in between them the story itself is only worth pennies but the meaning of it is so great human beings are so senseless Even though they are actors in the drama they do not understand the drama they have become senseless it is only the poor who will understand this the wealthy don't understand anything the father is remembered as the lord of the poor and the purifier he is now playing that part in a practical way you have to explain this to large audiences Understanding says that little by little his praise will be sung and the bells will chime at the last moment. As he adds some children are still eclipsed by bad omens. Their lines are not clear. Obstacles continue to come. They will continue to come according to the drama. The more effort you make the higher the status you will attain. It is remembered of this time that the Pandavas didn't even have 3 feet of land. However no one knows that they were the ones who later became the masters of the world in a practical form You children now understand that you don't need to be unhappy about this The same thing happened in the previous cycle too You have to stay on the rails of the drama you must not waver The play is now about to end and you will go to the land of happiness Study in such a way that you claim a high status Acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharana number 1 as you walk as you move maintain the consciousness of being an actor and remain stable on the rails of the drama let it remain in your intellect that you are now on a pilgrimage and are returning home second imbibe all the qualities for salvation within yourself become full of all the divine virtues and 16 celestial degrees completely pure blessing may you claim a right to the instant and practical fruit and have elevated salvation by following the elevated directions you receive at the confluence age you receive the instant and practical fruit that is success in the elevated actions you perform on the basis of following the elevated directions you receive at the confluence age this is why it is said as as are the directions so is the salvation People think you will receive salvation after you die but your children have received the blessing of receiving salvation that is the fruit of success of every act you perform in this final birth of dying alive you do not wait for the future you do something now and you receive a right to the attainment right now this is called true love of the creator for the creation slogan those who follow the father at every step with determination are the ones who become complete and perfect slogan those who follow the father at every step with determination are the ones who become complete and perfect om shanti <laughs>